Hello Vlogtober! So it is me here, Rochelle. I just finished going and wrapping up my video for September. Uh, yeah, I just finished putting together my September reading wrap up. So that should be posted pretty much tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So gonna get that all edited tonight. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a little intro for the next portion of our Vlogtober I can't English today. I cannot English. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to put an intro together for the next portion of the Vlogtober videos that I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed the first part. I'm sorry that it was so sporadic. I'm not the best at vlogging. It's definitely a learning process, but I do have some more concrete ideas in mind. So we will be getting to that this coming weekend and I'm so excited to go and film all of that and show you all the fun things there. But yeah, I'm probably going to close this out now because I do need to edit a video and Charles should be coming home so we can go on a nice little walk after work and go with Nugget and hopefully look at some of the leaves that are changing in the neighborhood nearby. So I will go and show you some footage with that. And yeah, I hope you all are having a great day so far. I can't wait to talk to you soon. just so heart melting like if I could get a kids book for these two I would just be over the moon like our little tripod kitty Cicero and our nuggy nugs just going on little adventures together <laughs> so ignore my millions of tabs but there is a Stuff Your Kindle Day that is specifically for horror and thrillers. So I'm really excited to go and look through those. These are the ones that are currently free on Amazon. And I'm so excited. If you're seeing this, I believe I've put up some shorts going and talking about this. But I literally didn't learn about the horror Stuff Your Kindle Day until yesterday. So I didn't have time to plan a video for that, but I will do one for the fantasy stuff, your Kindle day that I am actually aware of and can prep for. But yeah, if you got any of these books, please let me know down in the comments below. And here's a Kiko. Kiko, hot buds. Yeah. And then there's, there's the boys. And then there's the nugs. I, I have so many books that I need to sort. <laughs> She has no idea. 
video while we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna be going on a hike today. Very excited. Appeared on the message boards that evening, along with screenshots showing the force field the Sixers had erected to keep everyone else out. Brave nugs.
so I just got finished going and filming my book unhaul and I'll give you a little a little taste of some of the books that I have in that video but you will get to go and see it on Wednesday because this video is being posted on Monday and just because of the amount of books I am unhauling I decided instead of keeping it in the vlogtober video I would go and put it in a separate video just so that you're not sitting me with me for a million years as I go through each book. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Charles and I are going to be going on a little adventure today. So yesterday we went on a fall hike and it was really nice. Like the weather was perfect, but oh goodness gracious, we haven't done hikes in a long time and so we we got very tired by the end of it. Nugget actually went and laid down a few times as you would have seen from the clips that I shared before this and I was just I was just dragging and unfortunately a lot of the leaves had kind of fallen. We think that the previous weekend when we were at my best friend's wedding that it probably would have been the prime time to go and go on a hike and see all the leaves and their prime. So we're gonna to try to remember that so next year we can go and look at the leaves while they're at the peak and not when they've mostly fallen from all the aspen trees. So yeah, but I'm gonna go and get all these books put in bags and then I will probably be filming more than likely on my phone because I'm, I'm not used to going and bringing my camera out in public as much, so pulling out the phone is a little bit less anxiety inducing for me. But we're gonna take these books to a used bookstore and then I also wanna go to Barnes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm do, gonna do good. I really don't have the intention to step out of that store with a million books, but there's a few that I really like to get my hands on. And so fingers crossed for that and then yeah, we'll probably get some food and then come home and we have to give Nuggie a bath and I also need to wash all the bed sheets. So that is our plan for today and I will talk to you all again soon. But for now, I need to refold this because I'd like to unhaul this, but it's not in the best shape. Oh my God, I just realized. I just realized what the cover was for this one. Oh my gosh. Well, I think the ones that I'm getting will have this, so <laughs> I'm still gonna unhaul it, but I need to go and fix that and refold it and then pull out all of my annotations. Nuggie! Hi, Nuggie. Hey, yo, baby. She is so tired from the hike. Oh, pfft. she also did, um, we need to brush her teeth. Yeah, cause you know what you ate yesterday. You know, mm-hmm, yeah. So we need to brush her teeth too. But yeah, that, that's enough of me being so long-winded. I will check in with you in a bit.
So we just went into Barnes and Noble, and what did you tell me? What? With how many books I got? Oh, I'm proud of her. She only got two. Yeah. And I got one. Mm-hmm. I'll give a, a little haul later once we get home. <laughs> So we just got home. Our trip kind of, personally for myself, felt a bit like a bust. We were able to find some stuff at Barnes & Noble like we were mentioning, but then when we went to Second and Charles, it just didn't go the way I guess I had it built up in my mind. I was really, I don't know, like building it up thinking like I'd be able to find a lot of really good books at really good prices and be able to sell my books for a lot. Um, I'll have to insert the amount of books that I have here or in my next video because I didn't count them before we left, but basically they were so busy that they wouldn't be able to get back to me until tomorrow on Monday to say like how how much they were going to pay and offer for the books. So yeah, unfortunately I won't find that until this video is already posted. So if anything, I might just mention it down in the comments below. But yeah, so after we went and did that, we went and just walked around the store. And I've never been to Second and Charles before, but it was a little bit overwhelming for me personally. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's a place that you can go and sell like your books, your video games, movies, stuff like that, and also buy other things. So they had like vinyls, they had those little Funko Pop dolls, they had books, movies, all that type of stuff. and. Like, I was a little bit overwhelmed going through there and looking around. There were a lot of books that were good quality, but um, not really the prices that I was thinking they'd have. So some of the books were just normal, regular price, prices that you'd find in the bookstores. And then there were a few of them that I found that were kind of discounted. So... Yeah, I, I found a few books I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm interested in getting these, but it just didn't turn out the way I had hoped, and I just ended up not going and purchasing those books, and Charles and I just kind of left without buying anything, and like I said, I won't find out until tomorrow how much they're going to offer for some of my books. I am feeling pretty optimistic that they'll probably buy... A good amount of them because when I was looking through the aisles I was seeing some books that were of a similar age to the ones I was getting rid of so I feel like chances for them taking them would be pretty good but you know ultimately I have those books at the house I'm not gonna have to worry about them so that's the good thing so um, before I end up going and wrapping up this video I'm gonna show y'all some of the things I got and then I have two boxes that I need to go through just because they've been sitting in my office so yeah one of the books that I got was Curious Tides by Pascal LaSalle and I originally never had this on my radar, but it was one of the little displays that they had in Barnes & Noble, and I was like, this is so pretty. I love the moons on it and just kind of the, the metallicness of it, and then it has these purple sprayed edges, and then I really loved that in like the top corner it kind of has, whoop, it has like these little constellations, and then on um, some of the chapters... Well, there's also like these pieces in here too, like little pages there. And then I really like the chapter heading, if that's what you call it. But I thought that was really pretty. So I was like, you know what? I'm not really familiar with this book. I don't really know what it's about, but it looks gorgeous. And I don't know, I was intrigued. I, I did a little bit of light skimming over the book and it seemed interesting 
enough, so snagged that. And then I was able to find one of the books that I was really excited for and hoping to get. And that was We Used to Live Here by Marcus Klewer. I don't think I'm saying that right, but this was another one of the books that I was looking for, really excited to read. My book bestie loved this book and she's been wanting to get a physical copy. And I've honestly had my eyes on getting a physical copy as well, but every time I've been meaning to snag it, it's always sold out. So I picked up this one as well. So yeah, that was one of the books that I was really hoping to get when we went out today. And I was able to get it, some of the other ones that I had my eyes on and I was hoping to see in stores, I didn't. So I might end up going and looking online and seeing what I can get just because, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit bummed by that. But anyway, so that's kind of how it went at the bookstores. And then I have a few boxes to go through. One of them is from LitJoy. So this is one that I pre-ordered a while back and it finally came. Okay. And this one is, I believe, the third book in the Fablehaven series. So this one is Grip of the Shadow Plague. And so this is my third book in the series. As I mentioned in my fall book haul, I'm trying to get all the books in this series so I can go and reread it. When I was younger, it was a book series that I really enjoyed, and I believe I read the first two books and I never finished the series. And now that they're re-releasing them, I want to go and read them again. And so I'm waiting until I get all the re-released copies so I can go and read it. But yeah, they have a unicorn on this page. I can't remember. Oh yeah, Centaur. So, so cool. I think they just announced the fourth book not too long ago. So I need to go and put a pre-order for that one as well. But yeah, so I got this copy. So now I have three of the books and I believe there's five total if I'm not mistaken. And then the next one is a tea order. So for those of you that aren't aware, I'm an affiliate for Friday Afternoon Tea. It's this small um, small business in Seattle. And yeah, I'm an affiliate with them. I really love a lot of the things that they stand for with their business. And I love the nerdiness as well. I think the nerdiness aspect is so much fun. But yeah, every now and then they'll go and give us affiliates some tea options to go and try out. And I'm always excited whenever I get a box because it's never expected, but um, just a pleasant surprise. So yeah, let's go through it together. So it has a gift for you, Tea Heart. It's Tea Time Thirsty Nerd. Welcome to Tea Witch Autumn. We're all about spice, friendship, and sharing a cup of autumnal goodness. Enjoy your goodies and have an amazing day. XOXO Friday. So some of the things I have in here, Inflammation Rescue. Ooh. So this one has fennel seed, peppercorn, strawberry, orange peel, Fever few, honey, hibiscus, and lemongrass. Oh, this sounds like it would be amazing. And Shark Week is coming this week. So Shark Week, Aunt Flo, whoever's familiar with either of the terms, that's gonna be this coming week. So this might be my best friend to drink during that week. And then, ooh, Starship Iris. This has black tea, peppercorn, violet flower, bergamot oil, and pine smoke. Interesting. This one's really interesting, and I love the little bag. It's so cute. Ooh, I'm very excited for this. So this is also in their new packaging that they've redone, and I just love how cute the packages are. But this one is pumpkin chai seasonal sips. I might have to drink this tomorrow because it's a little bit too late for this, and it probably, yeah, it has caffeine in it, so... I probably can't have it tonight because then I won't sleep. It does say light caffeine, but this one has black tea, ginger, cinnamon, squash, cardamom, natural vanilla, and pumpkin flavoring. And it has nice little directions on there for how hot, how long to steep it, and then how much caffeine's in there. So that's really cool. And then, let's just see. Oh, it's so cute. So I got a cute little bunny on my little tea steeper. Uh, so everyone in the, the affiliate Discord group were sharing what they got on there. So some people got 
um, like a bird, so let's say like a raven or a crow, and then um, some people got some Star Trek steepers, so it's so sweet, but I love bunny rabbits. I'd love to get a bunny one day, if Charles will let me. But yeah, this is so cute, so I'm very excited for that. And yeah, so that is everything in the box here. Now, like I said, this box was sent to me because I am an affiliate with Friday Afternoon Tea, and I do actually have an affiliate code with them, which I believe is Dreamer10, which gives you 10% off your order, and that's not just a one-time only code that you can use. You can use it for any order that you decide to place through Friday Afternoon Tea, and I do, of course, earn like a small little commission from it, but... Ultimately, you know, it's helping out a small business and I truthfully love small businesses. So yeah, I'll include that information down below in the description just in case if you're curious and if you are curious and would like to get some money off because getting some money off is always nice. I'll have that information down below. But yeah, so that's basically how today went. I am probably going to wrap things up here because I need to edit this video so that I can put it out tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you liked the second portion of Vlogtober. Didn't necessarily go the way I had hoped, at least with the bookstore portion, but yeah, it still was a great time and I enjoyed myself and enjoyed having like these extra little dates with Charles. So yeah, I hope you all are doing well and enjoying the fall weather wherever you are. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna lose my voice here soon. But I will say I love you all and always remember that you're worthy and capable of amazing things. Bye.